Breaking news, it's happening. Abuja lawyer drags Buhari minister to court over alleged lopsidedness in FCTA appointment. Hello, my wonderful people. We brought you up to speed yesterday what happened at Senate where the army, Nigerian army is recruiting and 70% of the recruitment is from the north. 70, just from the north. I mean, it's terrible how, uh, you know, people are being neglected. And when the likes of Unandi Kano, Sunday Boho speaks about marginalization, they are thrown in detention or prison or made to suffer unjustly. That's how bad things are. Those who have no business being in prison are the ones in prison. Those that should actually be in prison for embezzlement, for destruction of life and property, those who have been given contracts in one way or the other, but went ahead, okay, at the money. So our hospitals are debt traps. Our hospitals are debt centers. Our roads are debt traps. They are the ones that should really truly be in detention and in prison. However, Nigeria for you. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Thank you. Abuja lawyer. I mean, with all that happened in the Senate recently, I mean, just yesterday, it's a real call for concern what goes on in Nigeria. Let's get all the details. Abuja lawyer drags Buhari minister to court over alleged lopsidedness in FCTA appointment. An Abuja-based lawyer and social crusader, Mr. Maxwell Opara, has dragged President Muhammad Buhari, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Malam Mohamed Bello before a federal high court in Abuja over alleged violation of the Federal Character Act in the appointment of permanent secretaries, executive, secretariat, personnel aides, directors, and other staffs into the Federal Capital Territory Administrative Office. The suit number marked is there. Has the FCT Minister, President Muhammad Buhari of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Attorney General of the Federation, and the Federal Character Commission as defendant? The plaintiff in the case is seeking an order of the court directing the FCT Minister and other defendants to comply with provision of Section 4, Subsection 1A, B, and 5 of the Federal Capital. Establishment Act in all appointments in all cases of post in the FCTA. Opara, who formulated three issues of the determination of the court, also wants the court to declare that the Federal Character, Character Commission, C FCC, is employed by law to formulate principles and guidelines for the appointment of federal character, principles of fairness and equality distribution if all cadres of points of post in the federal government of Nigeria and to ensure compliance with the said formula. He also prayed the court to declare that the first and third defendants are under obligation to comply with the provision of Section 1, Section 1, of nine and part three, section four and five, if the guiding principles and formulation for distribution of all crusaders of appointments into all cadres of office into the federal character administrations are met. In a 20 paragraph affidavit deposited to by the complainant, he said recently the FCT manager in conjunction with the defendant appointed political ministers and other staffs of FCTA against the federal character principles. He had alleged that appointment as done by the FCT manager favors people who are mostly from the northern part of the country. No details has been fixed for the hearing of the suit, which was filed today, December the 1st, 2021. So this is what is going on. I mean, lawyer, God bless you. And I wish to God that indeed we'll get a real and honest, you know, decision on this matter. But can I tell you the decision of the courts? Can I tell you what will happen before the case is even you know, uh, finished or uh, before the case is even, you know, uh, 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 decided upon. 
first of all, President Muhammad Buhari, your president, will waive this case. And uh, which judge won't go judge president? Because Nigeria not get law. Okay? Nigeria, there's no law and order. So everybody will pretend like, you know, the president is above the law. But sadly, that's why we have the cadres of administration in government so that no one has absolute power. We are supposed to have the legislative, the Senate, the House of Representatives, the judiciary to curb and to put in place to ensure that nobody takes absolute power and becomes a dictator. But sadly, in Nigeria, this whole thing do not hold and does not really stand like it should. You know, Nigerian government and those who are supposed to be in authority do things the way they want and sadly they get away with it. Those who should curb them and bring them into cognizance of what should be do not even follow the law themselves. So here we are, as a people, here we are. You know, uh, we saw um, on the 1st of December as well, when the Senate had meeting and um, the, the chief, the army chief of staff was called upon to defend why, you know, appointment was made into the army and 70% of the appointments were those from the north. I mean, in what way, form or kind is that correct? Sadly, this is Nigeria. So if somebody's got the leadership, somebody's got security, somebody's got the money, that person basically has taken you as a slave. So the North is doing everything it can, even if power changes hand and the Southern governor, uh, Southern president, I beg your pardon, whether from the Southwest, South, South or Southeast becomes the president, they become the one in charge of security. So at the end of the day, nothing is still being done in that right, in that regards. And so the person will struggle because if you don't have security, you know, at your beck and call, what I mean by that, you may be the chief of staff, but they are loyal to other persons, which may possibly affect your detail. And this was what led to coup, you know, in Nigeria in time past. Because once they get a hold of security, they can determine what happens next. So Nigerians, here we are with the lopsidedness and all the evil atrocities going on in government. We need a difference for us to move forward as a third world country. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye.